Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be discussing an important feature or important topic in wireless systems. That is, we have the multi-channel, multi-point distribution service (MMDS) in wireless technology. Uh, now, this feature or this topic came into existence in the wireless systems because uh, most of you have the televisions at home, and you all will be having that cable wire connecting to your uh, cable office to your uh, connector pin at the back side of your television now uh, in uh, urban areas it's uh, not that difficult to uh, install uh, these systems and the challenges won't appear that much but when it comes to the uh, remote areas especially in countries where it's very uh, hilly sites or hilly regions it becomes difficult to install this uh, wires and challenges appear in case of manpower and many other uh, challenges uh, appear at that time so in order to overcome that or in order to provide services or television broadcasting services in such areas we have this uh, mmds uh, feature so uh, basically uh, initially it was uh, used to distribute the cable network in business firms so uh, in uh, business industries or uh, business places uh, where we require this uh, data transmission without the help of wire we use the MMDS technique since it is wireless uh, now in the recent days it's also been used in the uh, television systems uh, where TV receptors are being configured in order to accommodate this MMDS service so it's also known as broadband radio service BRS or wireless cable which is an alternative to the television receptor so uh, in place where the older televisions had the older chips and cathode ray tube CRT and all so uh, in the modern television uh, it's being configured with these systems which is capable of MMDS receiving and so it's called as the broadband radio service BRS so uh, now uh, this uh, MMDS operates or uses with the frequency range of 2.15 to 2.68 gigahertz and is used in uh, microwave antennas for a trans receiving so the uh, antennas or the broadcasting station which it has basically has microwaves got and it transmits the microwaves uh, which reaches to each of the signal receivers so uh, the basic idea here is so the setup is of MMDs is something like this so the basic idea here was to distribute the satellite data so you have the satellite so satellite will have two kinds of uh, links that is up, satellite uplink and satellite downlink so mainly the satellite uplink data needs to be transmitted uh, to each of the signal receivers and so uh, it is done by means of an RS hub which is a broadcasting station and then with the help of RS hub or broadcasting station it used to transmit uh, each of these microwaves to each of these individual signal receivers. So uh, uh, the subscriber is used to receive its specially created microwave antenna so uh, this microwave antenna specially uh, this is being user created or depending upon the area location or geographical location this is being configured it's not a standard particular uh, antenna that you can uh, just install and make it uh, work in all the places but then you need to uh, know the geographical conditions or what uh, conditions are there in that particular area so uh, it has got a few of the advantages so since it's of lower frequency and hence can pass through obstacles and thereby it can travel longer distances so since it's microwaves uh, its collision with the hard objects uh, is very less and so with that it can travel to even much more longer distances then the lower frequency with uh, long wavelength which increases the ability for better coverage so since it's wavelength uh, when you just uh, put it on a graph its wavelength is being wide and so being wide means it can cover its large geographical area which signifies better coverage and so it provides the wireless access we know in this hardly any uh, wired setup or wired equipments are there and so everything here is wireless and it reduces the communication cost so earlier when it was wired the communication cost increased now with the help of this MMDS technique it's being uh, wireless and so it's very cheap and so the maintenance cost is also there but that's not a big issue uh, in order to deal with and so uh, another major uh, problem is this frequency that is it operates within this 2.15 to 2.68 but uh, recent research has been going on in order to expand this frequency range of uh, this to uh, some higher level so that you can operate at uh, any higher frequencies 
So well that was all regarding the MMDS technique in wireless technology. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it educated watching this video, please do like, share, comment, and if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.